All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. And with the NFL season coming to a close last Sunday with Super Bowl 57, and what a Super Bowl it was between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles, with the Kansas City Chiefs winning Super Bowl 57, 38-35 over the Philadelphia Eagles. Now it's week one of the XFL season. And my team, the Orlando Guardians, visit Houston to take on the Houston Roughnecks. Now, the Orlando Guardians have signed QB Paxton Lynch, who didn't make it in the NFL with the Denver Broncos, didn't make it in the USFL all last year with the Michigan Panthers, and now trying to make it in the XFL with the Orlando Guardians. Paxton Lynch, um, I would go with either DeAndre Francois or Quentin Dormady as our QB over Paxton Lynch, but I do think that uh, head coach Terrell Buckley will start Paxton Lynch at least for the first game, uh, I do believe. Um, I don't think they signed him to sit. I think they signed him to be the quarterback in Orlando. I I would go with Dormady, I think. Um at least for now. Until um Paxton Lynch, you know, either wins the job outright or shows me something in practice that he deserves to be the starter because he couldn't make it with the Denver Broncos in the NFL. He couldn't make it in the USFL with the Michigan Panthers. And now he's going to try and make it in the XFL with the Orlando Guardians. I don't think so. Um, it should be a good game. Uh, the Houston Roughnecks, you know, uh, are going to be tough. They were, you know, in 2020 when, uh, when the league folded because of COVID. Um... You know, and they have a good head coach. They have a very good defensive-minded coach. He's a very good defensive coordinator. Um, and he's a former Buffalo Bills head coach, Wade Phillips, the head coach of the Houston Roughnecks. So it's, it's going to be interesting uh, to play him. Uh, and congratulations, Wade Phillips, on getting the head coaching job uh, for the Houston Roughnecks. Uh, I can't wait for tomorrow night's matchup. Some Saturday night football, XFL action, uh, and it's the Orlando Guardians at the Houston Roughnecks. Now next week, next Sunday, is the Orlando Guardians home opener as they will take on the San Antonio Brahmas. Now I'm glad the XFL is back and it's back under new ownership. Uh, as you know, Vince McMahon sold the XFL to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see, um, you know, what The Rock does. <laughs> With The Rock owning the XFL, you know, it was you knew it was a matter of time before a team called the Brahmas would end up coming into the league. And, you know, they call him the Brahma Bull. He owns the XFL. He, he wanted a team named after him, and you get the San Antonio Brahmas. <laughs> And I'm surprised that The Rock isn't a GM or a head coach or something. He played college football for the University of Miami, the Hurricanes. Um, so, you know, but I can't wait. Um, it, it It's going to be interesting to see uh, what these two head coaches do. It should be a good defensive battle. Um and it should be a close game. You know, I think the Guardians win by anywhere from two to seven points. Um, they could even win by three. Uh, but I want to see, you know, it, it's probably going to be a uh, low-scoring game. It's probably, you know, the offenses are probably going to struggle because this league was on a three-year hiatus, okay? 
Um, it's going to take these teams a while to get back. Um, and I can't wait, you know, till we play the DC Defenders. You know, that's one of the games uh, that I have circled on the calendar uh, is the DC Defenders. You know, we didn't have much success against them in 2020 when, uh, when this team was the New York Guardians. Uh, so now they've relocated a new start in Orlando. Uh, and it should be fun with Terrell Buckley as our head coach. So, uh, I can't wait to take on Wade Phillips and the Houston Roughnecks. Um, like I said, Wade Phillips always has good defenses. He's a, he's a hell of a defensive coordinator. Uh, the last time he was the head coach of, of the Buffalo Bills, you know what happened in 1999 when he was our head coach. We lost the AFC wildcard playoff game. Uh, and you all know to who, you know. What happened under Wade Phillips, people know today as the Music City Miracle. Us Bills fans know it as the illegal forward pass. Um, but I, I'm, I'm happy for Wade, you know. Um, he was, I've always liked him you know, as a head coach, especially when he was with the Bills. He did some he did some awesome and amazing things with the Buffalo Bills. Um and he's been defensive coordinator for many, many teams um uh throughout his career. And it's glad to see him get back into the head coaching stage and welcome to the XFL Wade Phillips. Um tomorrow should be a fun game. Uh I'm pulling for the Guardians to win this one. You know, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, Wade Phillips, like I said, is a very great, very good defensive-minded coach. You Houston Roughneck fans, you got an, an outstanding head coach uh, in Wade Phillips. I'm happy with Terrell Buckley as our head coach. The thing I'm going to be watching the most in this game is the adjustments that are made. Uh, you know, whether we get down or whether it's halftime adjustments, whether it's in-game adjustments. Um, if they're, you know, giving up big yardage, what kind of adjustments they'll make to take away the run game or take away the big, big plays. Uh, if they give up big plays, I want to see adjustments made by Terrell Buckley uh, to take away those big plays. Um, and whoever the quarterback may be, DeAndre Francois, Quentin Dormady, or Paxton Lynch. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be paying special attention to our running backs, Kelvin Taylor and Jamaine Martin. Uh, I want to see the running game get going and get going early. I think if we can run the football with whoever the quarterback is in this game, I think we win this football game. Um, I know Wade Phillips is a, is a hell of a defensive minded coach, but I think if we get the ball, if we run the ball early and often and wear his defense out, I think we win this football game. I think we're going to win the game anyway. Um, even though it is on the road, and I, I, I just think I just think that uh, Terrell Buckley is gonna uh, do enough to win this football game. You know, I, I, I can feel it. Um, and even if we lose, that's okay. You know, because Houston's got a hell of a team, um, and I'm just happy that XFL football is back, guys. Uh, the XFL. Uh, and then one of the games that I have circled on my calendar is the home opener next week against the San Antonio Brahmas. You know, this is a new team in the XFL, uh, and I want to see what they do. And week three, we're home against the Arlington Renegades. So that's another game uh, that's going to be crucial uh, in our march to the playoffs. So uh, thank you, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, for bringing back the XFL uh, and uh, just giving us football, you know, for uh, now that the NFL is over. And then in April, when the XFL is winding down, the USFL 
uh, will start up. And my team there is the Michigan Panthers. Um, they didn't have a great season last year. They only had two wins under head coach Jeff Fisher. But we're going to see what new head coach Mike Nolan does with the uh, with the Michigan Panthers. But uh, like I said, I want to see the Orlando Guardians run the ball. I do think uh, um, Cody Latimer uh, out of Indiana scores a touchdown. Um, I want to see him get a touchdown couple touchdowns. I want to see Charleston Rambo uh, score some touchdown, at least one. And Diedrich Thomas, I want to see get a touchdown. We also have uh, tight end Ryan Becker, uh, who spent some time with the Buffalo Bills as well uh, the past couple of seasons. Um, he was our tight end, uh, mainly the practice squad, but uh, he did play in some games for the Buffalo Bills a couple of years ago. Um, so, But like I said, I think it's going to be a defensive battle. Um, Balin Buchanan, I think, is going to have a, a great game. He's a defensive back for the Orlando Guardians. Um, Errol Thompson, who's a linebacker, I think... Uh, He's going to have a hell of a game for the Orlando Guardians. But like I said, guys, it's going to be about the run game, I think, at least this week, for the Orlando Guardians to beat the Houston Roughnecks. Um, it, it It's going to be a really tough game. I, you know, I know what kind of coach Wade Phillips is, and he is a really, really good head coach, um, and he knows football. Um and he knows defense. Uh, that's his specialty. So, it, like I said, it's it's going to be a low-scoring game because he's such a great defensive mind. And he's going to have his defense ready to play football. You can, you can count on that, Houston Roughneck fans. You can count on that. But Terrell Buckley is also going to have the Orlando Guardians ready to play. I do think we score some touchdowns in the air, but I want to see the running game uh, get going. I want to see at least 150 to 175 yards on the ground. If we have 150 to 175 yards on the ground, I'll be happy. Win or lose this football game. I want to establish the run early and often against Houston. And then even more as the weeks go on against San Antonio Arlington. And then week four, we play the Houston Roughnecks again in Orlando. So even if we lose this game, we will see them again week four, and we will get revenge if we don't, you know, beat them tomorrow. Or, yeah, um, tonight, rather, because by the time this video's up, it'll be, you know, game day. So... I'm going to end this video right here, guys. But like I said, it, it's, it should be a good game. It should be a close game, a low-scoring game, uh, and a defensive battle. Uh, Terrell Buckley, I do think, squeaks one out on the road. Uh, and the Orlando Guardians, I think, get their first win of the 2023 XFL season. So, guys, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss a video. Stay tuned for my Orlando Gar Guardians at Houston Roughnecks halftime report. And stay tuned for my Orlando Guardians at Houston Roughnecks postgame recap. Should be a fun one. Should be a good one. Win or lose. You know, it should be. A good halftime report and good uh, post-game recap. Go Guardians. Let's get that win. Let's go into Houston and steal one with the running game. Establish a run, and I think we will run away with this football game. Go Guardians. Let's beat Houston.